Jim Berry, Radioman First Class. I travel to all the countries around Japan. I went to Thailand, uh, Kaohsiung, Keelung, tai, tai, Taiwan, the Philippines, of course, Korea, Okinawa, because that was before it was Japan, Japanese allies. It was just Okinawa. So, Japan, when I first got there, I fell in love with Japan right off the bat. And uh, so when I was out of the service, that's all I could think about was Japan. I couldn't, I, I couldn't, I couldn't like the states like I like Japan. I basically grew up over there, and so it was. Uh, most of the people received us very nicely. I ended up marrying a Japanese girl over there. Both my kids were born in Sasebo, so. Uh, it was just a, a good place to be. It was country. When you went up north to Tokyo, Yokosuka area, people knew you were from the country by the way you spoke Japanese. And uh, I didn't speak it fluent. I spoke it good enough to get along with no problem, you know. And they always say, oh, you're, you're a country boy, aren't you? You're a sensible boy, you know. Of course, the answer was yes, I am. Proud of it. I've been back... Uh, one time, when I was on the USS Ogden, when I was with Beach Master Unit 1, we went to Sasebo. We stayed there for three weeks. I took leave, stayed with my wife's mother and dad all the time I was there. And uh, of course, they're, they speak nothing but Japanese, so it was, uh, it was quite an affair. A lot of fun, you know. Her mother, she loved drinking American beer. I always had a barrack of beer for her, you know, so. I, to say I was in love with Sasebo is an understatement I was.